Okay, one more day. Hey, a ship! Very small, very high, heading west. Sky Raider, go! That's a decent bit south. Sky Raider, you're... a bit slow. It's all that chonky armor you've got on. Okay. Build facility. Large barracks. Oof! 15 days, that'll be done. And then we can take out the other chaining room. And... That'll help a bit for hospital stuff. And gives me a bit of storage. And I think that's a... I think that's a fair thing to build. Also, Asia's third lab is done. Right. 25 more scientists. Okay. And I'll still have like a million bucks left over. I could... I could build a, a small base down here for like just interception craft so I can like take down the crap that that base is sending out because we're a little too far away from it. Africa 11. Intercept. It'll be like, oh my gosh, Africa 11. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna be so funky. The Excelsif list, list down there. It's crazy, I know. And then, uh. A hanger. And. Small radar will be fine. Hmm. I'm just wondering how necessary missile defense systems will be for this place, and I'm thinking probably pretty if they're going to be intercepting some actual, like, notable threats, you know. I say notable threats. Put massive quotations around a notable security station. This is a very weird layout, but just... Bear with me, okay? Jeez. Okay. And at some point they'll need a radar and like a little itty bitty barracks just for a bit of storage and for like a janitor and stuff like that. Just a way for it to defend itself. Because without any soldiers there, if this base gets attacked, we'll just lose it straight up. Even if we have automated security there, I don't think it cares. We'll just lose the base. Okay, I'm not seeing anything there, so return to base. Sadness. I think we're going to give you some engines and plating as well. Just to help you get around, because currently you're the only intercept craft this entire world has. Nobody else has anything to shoot anything down. And that's... that's not good. That's really bad. This month is going to be terrible. Zoom. Unless the uh, research is giving us a ton of points, which... Probably not, but research does give points. There's a alloy armor light. So let's say... Like 10 alloy clips, shotgun alloy shells, maybe just 6. Machine guns. Well, like, maybe... Maybe more like 20. I use these things kind of a lot. The shotgun's not so much, but... Hmm. Automatic laser weapons! Hey, pulse cannons! Cool. So that's the light laser small that we made. Pulse cannon, medium mount thing. Several short pulses of energy, improving efficiency and delivering incredible sustained damage. 20 second reload, 125% accuracy, 250 rounds. 
less damage and quite a bit less range. So that's like the... That's like a really awesome cannon. Eh, no. It's, it's quite slow. It's like, uh, I like the idea of a cannon, but I don't want the cannon. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> the accuracy like that, though. Man. Okay. I'm not sure what else that's done for us. I suppose advanced air equipment would give us the add-ons and such to help out. Let's go for that. Laser auto pistol, laser pulse rifle, and pulse cannon medium. Laser pulse rifle? Is that the machine gun? Oh no, that that's the... Yeah, that's the machine gun. Five round auto fire, two round snap, and two round aimed. Yeah. Pulse laser technology with our laser weapons technology to improve weapons rate of fire significantly. Especially potent against fleshy opponents. Rapid laser damage. Yeah, it's pretty balls against anything armored, rapid laser. Armor is more effective against it. However, pre-damage multiplier, it does melt. This is like, uh... Boy, what was pre-damage multiplier? Is that just like some of it just like applies before armor gets a chance to roll so you can't fully mitigate? I don't remember. An armor damage multiplier zero, it just bounces off armor completely. Okay. Um. So maybe if it's a fleshy target though, surely we could just shoot it like with a bullet. <laughs> no? <laughs> hmm. Where's the alloy clips? Okay, so I think you can go back to making us money. Because we're gonna need quite a bit more... ...for everything. Although, what were you? Like, just under a million. Shrike launchers... The missiles themselves actually cost materials. Yeah, that was... that was you. Pulse cannon medium? Oh, just over a million. About... Oh no, that requires alloys. And then, like, the clips. I would think that these all kind of average out to be roughly the same. I feel like there is definitely some balance put into... manufacturing for profits. I'm not finding, like, that one odd duck that's got, uh, you know, just insane selling costs. I mean, this, yeah, but that requires alien explosives to make that. So, what was it? Shrike launcher was a million? No. Pulse cannon. Yeah. Okay. Hey! Something! Medium, very low north, going very fast. 3,600. Almost said 36,000. <laughs> it's gone. Oh, it is gone, actually. It literally is gone. Well, double check? Oh, where? Way over there. Get it! Uh, <laughs> we need... We need more interception. <laughs> it's... It's not working. There's there's not enough UFOs to, to do this right now. <laughs> uh, hey, Beijing! All right, at least there's a terror site. That's gonna be a little bit of a rush to get over there, but hey, it's a mission. Yeah, let's get goodbye and Mr. D on there, maybe. 
Something like that. Get the captain not quite the first off. Ajranos, little me. Get Banshees and Rogue up there a bit. Okay. The entire everything loadouts, I have no idea. Everybody can have alloy armor, though, because I didn't make any of the heavy alloy armor because it's a bit, well, heavy. So there's that. Look at us. It's XCOM. All right, Mammoth. Go as fast as you can. Sky Raider, get you out there for a bit of escort just in case. Because that's outside of our radar range, so I'm not really too sure what's going on over there. And very good news, I think, yeah, not super duper daylight, but mostly daylight. I did bring a ton of flares, just in case, but all right. Uh, Rogue and Leva are the two heavies with explosives. I've got a mix of laser rifles, laser pistols, and machine gun. One person has a standard pistol with alien alloys. With, with a machine gun clip. Glad I caught that, and I'm glad it's just the one. Alright. But otherwise, a, a pretty okay mix for... Whatever there may be. We're not bringing along proximities at all. Um, it's fine. Grenade Launcher is currently kind of sort of out, because Team Rocket has sort of turned into Team Heavy Cannon. <laughs> Banshee has aimed shot 99%. Return fire. Someone got hit. Ecliptics got hit. But Ecliptic survived. Because we've got proper armor. Leva, would you please? Ooh, hoo, hoo, that hurts a lot. <laughs> Awa. So you hit, but uh, didn't bring him down. Disappointing. Ecliptics? Revenge. All right. Let's get smoke out. And somebody on the ship smoke down. First turn to be killed eight. How many more could there be? Jeez, XCOM is so good. It's the aliens screaming that you may be hearing, not civilians. But actually, not many civilians died. Oh god, hi. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Three blast radius. No line of fire, right, yeah. Uh, I'll be over here. We'll take it out with Mr. D. We'll even have you crouch so you get a better shot. You're shooting the ship, Mr. D. That's a bit better. Yeah, with a double tap. Well done, Mr. D. It is a rule, you know. And goodbye. Ooh. That's also... The alien... Wait, you see two things. Ah, you also see a... Okay. Reaver down there. I think you could take the aim shot. Take out that wall. Snapshot, 45% still pretty good. All right. Behind the a third one, behind the wheel ball then. Rogue, snapshot. Oh, yeah, he's down. Well done. And then you also see the raver. Okay, let's get Banshees off. Boy, this takes a lot of time and it's for the aim shot, eh? Bit of a downside of it. The snapshot's pretty alright, though.
All right. <laughs> Next. <laughs> This guy's cover is incredible. What? Well, how are we so accurately hitting, like, whatever that is over there? What's happening here? A neophyte, would you please get... Perfect. That works. That works great. Okay, just imagine this floater on its turn, like the aliens end turn, and it's just looking at this floater, and this wall, this whole house next to him, just slowly being deconstructed, brick by brick. <laughs> Have half a mind to get Leva out there. Seriously. Ezra die with the machine gun. Just keep rolling the dice, it's fine. It's, it's like we're going for morale damage, but it doesn't work that way. <laughs> but it's like we're going for morale damage. Throw that over to Leva, who will just tap it with their heel. Give us a little more smoke. Thicken this up a bit. Because man oh man. Two civilians killed by that guy. That Reaper with the zoomies didn't see us though. Nice. Good job, Luca Zed. So, I know your strength is terrible. Alright, you know, it's better than nothing. I'll... I'll take that. Oh my god, there's a lot of civilians up here. Civilians, I've got you. Oh, a lot of civilians up here. Everyone's just doing their normal shopping, like... <laughs> nothing at all is happening. Uh, Alright. I think... I'll get Rogue back over to take out the bacon. Neophyte. Oh, I guess Leva is also somewhat able to. Yeah, that works. Nice. Leva with the kind of kill steal? Uh, I don't know. Ecliptex. Set this one out a minute. 20 health left is not a lot of health. Okay, there's still two over by their tower. Ezra die. 47 strength. on the roof. Womp. Goodbye. Spot for us. Okay. Proper floating. 
And you. Man, that just doesn't bring them down, huh? Oh, what a shot, Rogue. I think I'd rather you be back there. And then money bottoms. It's tactical nuke of a grenade. Yeah, alright. That's fine. You don't gotta. Just keep watching up here for these civilians. Make sure they're all safe. I mean, they literally, they're just shopping, window browsing and picking up groceries and doing their deliveries from their storage hub. Like, they're just, they're just living life out here. civilian in the face. A little bit of reaction fire shooting my guys, but we're armored. I think that civilian tried to give the people's elbow from their rooftop. Not sure they're actually going to take the chance, though. Okay, I'm a little surprised Goodbye didn't get shot at. I was kind of expecting that. Um... Boy, would I like to take at least a shot. How about this cool maneuver? Eh, that's not the cool maneuver I thought. <laughs> oh my god, I think it worked. Ezra die. 10 out of 10. And then Rogue will treat ya. Yeah, just the one in the arm. It's not that bad. I've witnessed worse. And somebody saw the Reaper. How about little me? Bit of really wild auto fire from the smoke. You don't even see it, but... Don't need to be more accurate. Just need to shoot more bullets. We got a few good hits in there. And then Neo fight with an auto shot. Show off. <laughs> Probably just like had this really casual just smirk on his face after he killed it. Slung the grenade back over his shoulder. <laughs> Did that kind of self chuckle they do in animes all the time. Uh... Mm. That's a lot to shoot through. I thought maybe through the window, but... And through the doorway, but... Mm. Yeah, nah. Do it anyway. Yeah, alright. Fine. No light of fire. Wrong wall. Sadness. So, goodbye. There we are. The grenade ought to explode and I think take him out and then there's one more back here? Or maybe that maybe that's you. Okay, inside. And there is one down there. All right. The elbow drop civilian, I think, just got murdered. Feels bad. But there's still a good few, uh... 
get fuel from running around. Goodbye is going in. strength on money bottoms. Pretty good. And slide! Ugh. You guys gotta work on your sliding skills. This is terrible. And a rogue will do it. Look at that. Even really slams his shoulder into the wall when he, uh, docks in. I'm pretty sure the site is clear. <clears throat> Mr. D. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Man, that's how you do it. Ah, oh, courts. It's gonna suck when that isn't enough to kill him and he just, like, murders you next turn. But, jeez, you went down swinging. Mm, I'm a little afraid of you popping out and hitting goodbye, but I can't really get a whole lot of reaction fire prepped for it. Maybe it bled out by now. If it's in there, it probably got at least injured when the uh, when the beacon fell. <sighs> All right. <laughs> ah, ah, goodbye. Okay, yeah, he is injured up there. However, some scary news. You just gotta face the fire, goodbye. Um, I'll give you a smoke. Eh. Maybe that's good enough, jeez. Door's gone. <laughs> Fantastic job, Rogue. <laughs> ah. Ah. Okay, there, there was a couple down here, in fact. I'm glad I looked just to be sure. Leva! Leva's still in position. Zero! Man. Don't throw a grenade up there. Ooh. It's repositioning oddly. It's thinking I'm gonna fly up and come at it like with a knife or something. 
It, flutters don't fully understand that I can't fly, I think. There we go, got him. <sighs> okay, this month is maybe saved with that terror mission. That went very well. Nine civilians were killed by aliens, but eight of them were saved. We took out 11, got 12 corpses. How's that work? I don't know. Whatever. The civilians took one down, I guess. I don't know. 767 score. Stat-wise, pretty good. I got a nice spread of use there throughout uh, everything. And some of those folks with the automatic weapons not able to bring them down in one hit, getting a bunch of increases for accuracy. Mr. D with plus three, plus two on Luka Z, two on Kabai, two on Little Me. That yeah, was overall a, a nice mission. It's just, uh, we're not getting that much this month, so I'm I'm a little afraid. Oh, maybe that's why, because we downed one, we didn't kill it, but it ends up dying anyway, so we still got its corpse. Maybe that's it. And Rogue Sergeant, grats. 